Citizens of the semi-autonomous state of Somaliland today went to the polls to elect members of parliament and municipality representatives. The election to fill the 82 parliamentary and 247 municipal seats attracted over 900 candidates from the country's three main political parties. KTN political reporter Marimi Mwangi has the latest from Hargeisa, Somaliland. Following months of campaigning, painting Somaliland capital, Hergesia, in orange, green and yellow, the colors of the country's three main political parties. It was finally voting day. The streets all clear as the estimated 1.3 million registered voters went to the polls. Lining up from as early as 5 a.m., among them Kenyans living here. <laughs> It's a competition, like a football. We hope to win, uh, but there is always uh, the, uh, the chance not to win as well, but we expect to win. President Musa Bihi Abdi, chairperson of the ruling party Kulmye, among the first to cast his vote at the civil servant commission polling station. Where the two other party bosses were Dani party leader Abdirahman Abdullahi and Uid party boss Faisal Warabe also voted. John critical in testing party supremacy ahead of the presidential poll slated for late next year. The Somaliland election is, is much more better in security, in performance, in major parties, elections in the continent of Africa and in some parts of the third world. This will be the, 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 the beginning of the new era for Somalia, of this election. And I have, I'm, I'm thanking you for you, for the Kenyans that who came here. I hope that you can spread our, and expose our strength. This year's election has been touted as critical in testing party supremacy ahead of the presidential polls slated for late next year. The whole world is watching us. Let us vote as we always do peacefully. There is ample time for everyone to vote. Uh, just be patient. Everything is ready and all polling material in place. Let's turn out and vote. The whole world is watching us. Let us vote. Well, this election outcome is critical at flexing the party supremacy muscle to the masters of state craftsmanship. It marks yet another step in Somaliland's quest for recognition of its sovereignty, 30 years since breaking off from mainland Somalia. Murumi Mwangi KTN News in Hergeisa, Somaliland. We take a short break here on KTN Prime. Much more to come on the other side, including the story of 31-year-old Jacqueline Kalenya, whose only child went missing two and a half years ago in Kembu slums here in Nairobi. Do stay with us.